Well, check out this story. A Boise area salon received a simple request via email. The person wanted to schedule seven facials mm -hmm. all for the same day on April 20th. The salon owner soon found out the story got pretty complicated. That's why Dale Dixon from the Better Business Bureau is here. Good morning, hey, Dale. How's it going? This story uh, kind of shows us that any business nowadays could be the target for these scammers, right? Absolutely. So, yes, up front, it is a scam, and we saw that play out. But so often, businesses think, well, if I'm selling something and it's, there's an expectation it'll be shipped, then I'm more uh, liable to be taken for a scam. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's a salon. It's a walk-in business, face-to-face -face transactions. You're going in for a service, and the scam artists have figured their way how to get in. So, the as you said, the spa owner replied to that initial email saying, here, yep, we can do it. Just yeah, uh, why not? You know, we'll you'd want it on the seven. schedule. And then in response, here's the exact text of the email he received. I'm here to tell you a little bit about, about myself. I'm learning how to study the Holy Bible. I have, I'm deaf, hard of hearing, uh, hearing impaired, other disabilities. Best way to reach is via email or text. So the question is, why would that have any bearing on the purchase of the services other than to try to get sympathy from the business owner to play along with this scam? So uh, our red flag number one on this case is when you start seeing things like that, I'm a missionary or I'm studying the Bible or I have disabilities, uh, the red flags need to go up because that's usually how the scam artists play on emotions mm -hmm. to, get the scam, to get the business owner then to follow through with subsequent emails. And like you said, we've seen this before, uh, uh, kind of these, these overpayment scams is what, is what yeah. we're getting into, that have been with, like you said, uh, actual items that you purchase mm -hmm. and, and you involve a third party shipper and all that kind of stuff. So uh, what does this tell us then about, you know, now they're stretching into these are service oriented businesses, yeah. such how as facials or haircuts or, or you name it. So how does all this work? Yeah. Well, it's, so the email came back and the, the scam artist laid it all out very simply for the person. Since I have disabilities, I can't transport these seven people to you. So what I'm going to do is give you my credit card. I want you to charge uh, the $300 for the services. I want you to charge $980 for driver's fees. My drivers don't accept credit cards, so you'll need to wire cash to them. Wire cash to them. Red flag right there. And I also want to give you a tip of $150. So by the end, they're talking $1,650. And for a small business, that's a big chunk of change. Yeah, so is. that's what the, the scam artist is hoping to do is weasel their way in with the promise of big money. Stolen credit card, bottom line. And then if you are ever asked to wire money, you know you're dealing with a scam. So in this particular case with this salon, did they keep responding after that? No. Did they alert you? What they did? No, the spa, spa owner was very smart, very professional throughout the course of the entire email transaction. Uh, stopped and said, you know what, we can't help you uh, as soon as he saw that. So, the, you know, we've got a couple big things that businesses need to watch out for in a situation okay. like this. First and foremost, we tell this story so that you realize that no matter what kind of business you're in, you're going to receive contact from a scam artist. You to talk to your employees and have everybody ready to be able to say no to these. So anytime you're, you're talking about a unique order, that is going to be something that's going to raise a red flag like for a business. Like seven facials on one day. Seven facials for on one day from one customer. And that's a bit unique. Not going to happen all the time. So that should raise a red flag. Next is big money. When you see big money, $1,600 in yeah. this case, then they're trying to suck you in because big money means oh, that would really help our bottom line. Well. Red flag once again, and a good story. So in this case, you know, I'm studying the Bible. I'm, I have all these disabilities, and I, you know, we want to bring these people in. We have drivers to do it. Don't believe the good story. Take a step back, do your research, and then anytime you're asked to wire money, you know it. Yeah, is a another red flag for yeah. you right there. So those good stories don't get caught up in the sob story, especially when it has nothing to do with the facial or the, whatever it is that you're getting. Yeah. Purchase. That's how you can tell that it's yeah. something strange going on there. So you